Welcome back to another video. Hey, SS Gang. How you everybody doing? Hope everyone having a wonderful day. Well, on my side of the town, we're having a great day. Well, today, guys, I prepared for you some crusted Parmesan Brussels sprouts. Mm-hmm. Yes, you heard me right. So today, I started with cutting open my Brussels sprouts and washing them really good. Also, I added a little salt in there to get the washing going. And yeah, we was on our way at this point, washing them up real good. And then at the next step was to cut off the, the stem of uh, the uh, Brussels sprout. As you can see me doing here, getting it all prepared, getting ready to boil them on the stove to cook them a little bit so they can get tender. So once they get tender, I will be able to smash them and getting ready to put them in the oven. So yeah, I'm just cutting them up, as you can see right here. And they are some pretty, pretty Brussels sprouts. Pretty. I remember the time I wouldn't even eat those things, but I love them. I love them now as an adult. I really love the Brussels sprout. So yeah, I got my water boiling. I'm getting ready to put them in. I'm adding a little garlic powder. I add a little salt. Um, added some uh, onion powder. No, I didn't add the onion powder. Take that back. I added some black pepper, the garlic powder, and um, I got it started with that. So, yeah. But very easy, very simple. If you're looking for a good snack, you know, a, a nutritious snack, then this is the snack that you should try. Because you can also use it as a side dish if you like. But, of course, I use mine as a snack. Um, you know, you don't want anything too heavy. You don't want to snack on anything sweet. So, you don't want to eat up all, you know, snack on all those carbs. So, the Brussels sprouts is the way to go. And they are boiling really good. They're getting tender enough for me to uh, smash them. And they came out really good. So, I would like for you all to try this recipe if you have not tried it. And I know that you would love it. I hear a lot of people say they don't like Brussels sprouts. Um, Brussels sprouts is just like cabbage to me. So um, the taste, you have to season it up in order to get that taste that you want. So I grease my pan. And now as you can see that I'm smashing them down. Um, so that's, that's my next step is to smash them. And then I'm going to put them on the pan and layer them. And then I, once I finish that, I'm going to get some Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to put it on top. And what I use as a mixture before I put the cheese and the uh, on there, I use some, uh, some of the cheesing uh, seasoning and a little um, olive oil. And I mix that all together. Uh, yes, and um, so... The Dano season is what I use, the cheesing. And so I mix that together and I brushed a little bit of that on each of the Brussels sprouts. And yeah, came out phenomenal. Came out really good, y'all. And so as you can see, I'm just, it's just like a paste. You're just fixing it together and brushing a little bit on each one. And uh, that's going to help build, get that taste, going to help keep that taste there. Uh, you're going to have the taste of the cheesing and you're going to have the taste of the mozzarella cheese and the, the Parmesan cheese. You're going to have that, that taste. And y'all, when I tell y'all, these was really good. I mean, really good. I, I kid you not. They were really came, they really came out excellent. And yeah, I'm just brushing each one of them. Yes, I really love dishes like this. Uh, those simple dishes that you can go in and take don't take a whole lot of time. I love these kind of dishes and and I'm going to be bringing more of these kind of dishes to you all uh, because they're simple and uh, you know just we can just uh, enjoy this together. You know I enjoy bringing these uh, videos to you and I'm, I'm hoping that you enjoy them as well. Um, I'm trying to do something a little different than than the norm. I know a lot of you guys will love little recipes uh, that's quick and easy. You don't have to put a whole lot of time into it because, you know, school has started back and, 
and you you're working and so you know you want to find something that's simple and easy to do um so that you'll be able to you know have more time uh to do whatever that it is that you need to do but yeah i'm just putting this cheese on here and just layering each one that's what you do you just layer each one on there you pop it in the oven on 350 325 350 uh, for about maybe 15 minutes till they become golden brown on the top and there you have it the finished product thank you guys for tuning in make sure you hit that thumbs up and make sure you come back leave a comment okay